it was truly hard to imagine what this, um, I received photos of like the empty space, and so to actually walk in and see it filled is really remarkable. Um, so thank you for that. Governor, Lieutenant Governor Bill, um, and to all of um, your colleagues at LabCorp and Metro West and the city of Natick, um, thank you so much for what uh, you're doing here in Natick. This morning, or, uh, yep, still morning, I'll give some more details on our commitment to vaccine awareness and equity in our most disproportionately impacted communities and give an update on our call center operations. As the governor indicated, last week we announced the launch of a targeted outreach initiative to the 20 hardest hit communities in the Commonwealth from COVID-19. And today, the $4.7 million contract is going directly to support this work. The initiative aligns with our commitment to prioritize health and racial equity and to keep community at the center of our vaccine distribution plan. The Department of Public Health is partnering with the 20 cities and towns most disproportionately impacted by COVID to listen, to bring boots on the ground in order to address vaccine hesitancy, to increase awareness of the vaccine safety and efficacy, and hopefully to reduce the barriers to vaccine acceptance. The work will be done with the help from Archipelago Strategies Group, which is a minority business enterprise in the Commonwealth, and with the support from Healthcare for All, and launches this week and will continue through at least June 30th of this year. Archipelago specializes in grassroots mobilization, partnering with local leaders, local community organizations, and media partners to develop community-based solutions. And as many know, Healthcare for All provides high-touch support for priority communities, including direct service support, community organizing, education, and outreach. The Department of Public Health will work with local leaders and community and faith-based groups to overcome these barriers. Outreach will focus on helping to increase the awareness about where, how, and when to get the vaccine and navigate logistical barriers for community members, homebound seniors, and other individuals with, with questions or concerns about eligibility, registration, and access. And just to remind you of the 20 communities, they are Boston, Brockton, Chelsea, Everett, Fall River, Fitchburg, Framingham, Haverhill, Holyoke, Lawrence, Lemonster, Lowell, Lynn, Malden, Methuen, New Bedford, Randolph, Revere, Springfield, and Worcester. This initiative will ensure our communities most disproportionately impacted get the assistance and support that they identify that they need to ensure that we can vaccinate as many residents as possible. We are committed to the efficient, effective, and equitable administration of vaccines across our Commonwealth. Now, an update on the call center. Since the launch of the COVID-19 vaccine scheduling resource line, otherwise known as the call center, on February 5th, there have been 171,000 total calls. Between February 5th and 17th, the center averaged about 4,500 calls per day. And since we launched the newest priority group last week, volume increased to an average of 24,000 calls a day. 12,000 appointments have been booked for folks utilizing the call center, and any person who has challenges with using technology, any person who's eligible can use the call center. Even with the high call volume, the average wait time has remained about four minutes or less. A reminder that this call center, as I said, is for any individual eligible for vaccine who does not have access to internet or a computer. And you can reach the call center by dialing 211 and following the prompts for appointment booking. The center operates in English and Spanish and has access to many other language and translators. Those who are able to book online or have someone in their lives to help them book online should do so. As a reminder, the resource line hours are Monday through Thursdays from 8.30 to 8 p.m., Friday, Saturday, and Sundays from 8.30 to 5 p.m. So congratulations on this mass vac site. It'd be great if we have the vaccines to get up to 5,000 a day and be able to fill this space for even more.